Good evening. Good evening, Irene. How are you? I am very fine. Thank you for asking, teacher, and you. I'm a little bit tired, being honest. Uh, and, and the funny part is that uh, I, I was in my house all day today, so I don't have like uh, any good reasons to feel tired. Ah, okay. Maybe you were very late, maybe. I uh, finished my last class at 10 p.m. and I finish and I started my first class at seven in the morning. So oh, for uh, that. yeah, so maybe you know, like I have one class from seven to eight. I have another one from um, from ten in the morning till twelve noon. I have another one from six to eight. I have your class, and then the last one from nine to ten. Oh my goodness! For that, teacher, this is the reason. It could be. It could be. Mm -hmm. So I'm counting the days to uh, to <laughs> sleep a lot. I imagine, I suppose. Um, yeah. I guess uh, that this year was very. Uh, difficult uh, the encierro <laughs> yeah lockdown lockdown uh, was very very terrific but for that I imagine to, you you feel bad or you feel tired you know like uh, financially speaking 2020 was really really bad for me really really bad and uh I didn't have work, let's see, like five months, like five months without uh, any work. Uh, but thank God, you know, the food was always there on the table. Um, I paid the bills every month, even though the situation was bad, but I thank God for 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 all the things that I received from him. Oh my yes. goodness. I imagine it's very difficult. Uh, a, situ a similar situation, I had um, the five, five months ago. Uh -huh. but, but thanks God, uh, in the enterprise, uh, they re recontrataron. Recontrataron. Uh -huh. Yeah, they hire again. They hire again. And then I I can pay the bills too. Good, good, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mario. Long time Hi. no see you. Hi, good evening. How are you? <laughs> How are you, Lily? We we've been good good Mario. What about you? Yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to to handle the both times in the, my working practice the English, but I'm very excited to be in the TOEFL preparation. Wow, it's, it's very nice. So, so sorry for this the last five five days that we <laughs> <laughs> that I can be here in the in the English class, but right. I'm here right now. So <laughs> good, good. Yeah, it's good Sorry to for see the inconvenience. Uh, yeah, me too. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Julia. Hello, teacher. How are you, Julia? Sad. Why are you I sad? Came back, I came back to work today. Today? Really? Yes. Yes. But wasn't... Uh, when was... December 2nd, the day you were supposed to go back to work? Uh, I get, I got sick uh, days ago, so I couldn't go. Okay. That's why I didn't connect the, the last week. Oh, okay. All right. Are you okay yeah. now? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. I guess. Good, good. Williams is back. 
Yeah, I am here. Uh huh. Were you on vacation, Williams? No, I've been working a lot and too late the last mm -hmm. days because it's the end of the month and the end of the year. So we are close the all year. Right. With the donation, with the donation about the different partners. Now uh, it's it's a, it's crazy. This month is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we finish uh, two weeks before the end of the year. So it's so you have to hurry. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. Vilma, Vilma is back. Vilma <laughs> was on vacation too. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was on vacation and I had a problem with my phone. Okay. I was on vacation and I lost the, the call and link about this meeting. Okay. I had to ask to Jimmy and get, Jimmy gave me again the information. Okay. So were you really on vacation? No. No? I'm no. Okay. All right. Okay. Welcome back, Mario, Williams, Vilma. Thanks. And, and everybody. It's good to have you back. Okay. Thank so you. let's begin. Uh, what is today's date? It's uh, December 2nd, 2020. That is correct. It's December 2nd, 2020. That is correct. Um, do you guys remember the topics we spoke about um, yesterday? Um, uh, the retirement. Right. We were speaking about retirement. That is correct. Uh, what else did we talk about? Remember that the, the second unit of the of the TOEFL preparation, they emphasize with the listening skill. Also, I mentioned yesterday and the day before yesterday, the differences between authentic listening and instructional uh, listening. Do you remember the differences? Mm -hmm. What are the difference? Okay. Um, authentic listening makes reference to English that is spoken in a very natural way. Movies, music, documentaries, mm -hmm. movie trailers, conferences. Those, those are examples of authentic listening, real English. Instructional makes reference to books like this. Uh, that this is instructional. Interchange, uh, top notch, uh, spectrum. I don't know if spectrum still exists, but all the all the English books that people use to learn the language that is considered to be instructional. Ah, uh, instruction. Yes. Okay. So, uh, no. in the and why did I mention this? Because in the listening section, you will hear uh, different audios. You will hear different audios. Uh, so, my suggestion is that you guys practice with authentic and also with uh, instructional. So, the two have advantages. The two have disadvantages. Yes. Okay. So instructional and authentic. Any okay. questions? Mm. No. Okay. So today uh, I have a question. Yes, Sorry, Mario. Francisco. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, in, in this course, the the platform we uh, changed from the all the activities that we had to do, or is the same like the last course? It's, it's the same platform, uh, but here at this level, the exercises are more difficult because mm. there, is, yeah. um, there is a lot of reading. There is a lot of reading that you need to do. There is a lot of listening that you need to do as well. 
So remember, uh, the TOEFL exam, they measure uh, listening, reading comprehension, and grammar. So they mentioned those three uh, uh, areas, mm -hmm. listening, reading, and grammar. Okay. So, um, so there's a lot of reading, there is a lot of listening. It's the same platform. And I do suggest that any work that you have to do, don't leave it, uh, don't accumulate it, and try to do it uh, on a weekly basis the most. But like I said, uh, the work you have to do with this level is, uh, is much more than what we have seen before. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's do our first activity. Our first activity is about speaking. Um, what is your opinion about risks? Risk. What is a risk for you? You have to avoid it. Huh? Mm, a risk, a risk. What is risk. a risk? Climb a mountain? Okay, that can be risky. Okay. Yeah. Right. Can it's, like, it's like uh take a take a a, a wall maybe. Uh, something uh, dangerous. Okay, something dangerous. Yes. Now risk, like if we talk about sports, there are some uh, sports that are extreme. And if they're extreme, they're usually very risky because you can even lose your life. You know, yeah. an accident, you lose your life. Can you mention examples of, 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 of uh, extreme sports? Mm. Climbing mountain, uh, is it a, a- Climbing, yes, that's extreme. The other is the slide. Sliding, is yes. Sliding, yes, sliding, uh -huh. snow. Um, parachute. Cyclism? Parachute. Cyclism. Uh, Cyclism. Biking. <laughs> oh, biking. Biking is another uh, sport that is okay. dangerous. What about bungee jumping? Oh, yes. Bungee jumping it. Okay. Hang, hang gliding? gliding? Do you mm -hmm. remember hang gliding? Without harness. Yeah, right. So you're like in a big kite. And you're like flying. Oh, that's that's okay. hang gliding. So the parachuting. Uh, para that what what is not the the word is um skydiving. Sky skydiving. Sky so when when you jump from an airplane, phew, that's skydiving. And it's scuba diving. What is scuba diving? That's in the water. Ah, uh, scuba diving. Yeah, uh, scuba yeah. diving is in the water. Okay. Skydiving is in the air. Oh, okay. Right? But, okay. Any other questions? Any comments? No? Okay. So let me look for this document so you guys can access uh, to it. Uh -huh, right here. Risks. Risk. risk. What is the plural of risk? Risked. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> With the at the end. At the end. <laughs> oh, no, no. Risk. Risk. Okay. If it's singular, you say risk. Okay. If it's plural, you're supposed to say risks. Mm -hmm. Okay. In plural, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Risk. Risks. Okay. Risks. Okay. All right. So, oh, so that is. Those are the questions you guys will have to discuss right now. Let me see where you guys are. Ha, ha, ha. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. Where are you? Eight to nine. Right here. Okay. So these are the questions. I'm sending to you right now. And let me create the room. Out of room, out of room, and here we go.
talk about risks. So tired. It was my first day of, of uh, work. Yeah, and I, I I'm destroyed. That. I'm destroyed. I so need you, another. You went to the <laughs> Ilopango Airport today. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Ilopango. So, yeah. The, the last week I, I got a flu, so I was like scared because I thought that mm. was coronavirus. So yeah. But, Be careful. But I, yeah, but I took the the the. the the, the test? Yeah, I took it. It's an example from risk that you had you take the risk because you have the flu and then you go to the yeah. you went to the to the to the to your office. So it's an example from a risk situation. I didn't get you. Why is a risk? Because if you have a COVID. <laughs> It's a risk. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't go to the, to the airport because I wasn't sure if I if I was sick or not. So, um, it's like we we cannot go to the office if we have no, no. flu or That's it. Yeah. with the accident maybe. Oh, okay. What about you? What do you? What is your opinion? In my case, when I hear the word risk. Uh, uh, spring to my mind die stairs maybe mm, okay uh -huh, because when you uh, take a, a risk normally is a um, I think it is a, a good way to take uh, some different risks As, for example uh, something unusual, unusual for you um, like to do um, I don't know I extreme sport or our extreme activities uh, I, mm -hmm. I know yeah maybe uh, climb a, a mountain or like a professional person but uh, you can maybe you can scale, uh, escalar yeah. climb. Uh, climb climb think, climb a, a volcano or like that, I, I think it is a risk. If you don't risk, you don't win. I mean, you have to exactly. risk to win. Yeah, no yeah. pain, no gain. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> Made safe decisions, I think. Yeah, okay. And in my case, I think the that was once risk that I, I have taken. Uh huh. I, I think that the the biggest risk I take is when I have to climb the tower. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, but that's because, why, because you had to work, but you didn't have any other option because it was your your, your job. Yes, I didn't have a choice, but uh, normally we are working in pairs sometimes. Because I, I was the, the younger. <laughs> so uh, okay. they, they have to, or they send me how to do that. Mm. But uh, sometimes I didn't want to do that. It, it okay. was very, wow. I, 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 have, I had a night, night, nightmare at night. Sometimes when I remember, or, or I was talking about that, it's a, a little trauma. <laughs> uh. So today you are going to have that nightmare again? Um, maybe, but it's not frequently. But uh, I don't like I don't like I don't like the higher, the the, the height or the higher. Yeah, the height, the height, the height, the height. Yes, the height. Mm -hmm. Yes, because sometimes I I saw some accident because in the Boqueron, close here, the volcano, uh -huh. volcano, the 
I, how do you say, let me see, how do you say the, los tirantes que sostienen la torre. The Viento, ropes. Les decimos, ¿hmm? Los lazos. La like lazos. No, uh -huh. but it's a cable. It's a cable. cable. Yeah, you, you can say ropes. Steel cable. Yeah, you can say ropes. ropes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they was broken. So, two guys, they come to down. Um, one of the of day was on the tree. Quedó trabado, the tree. And got the stuck. other one was until down, got stuck on the tree. And the other one was until down, and they, they, they fell down, they fell in over a rock. He, he, he died. Really? Oh. No, that's his, that's his heart. Another, 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 another time is when uh, my, my coworker was on the pole and uh -huh. the electricity wa was taking him. <laughs> the the electricity you... took him? The electricity took him, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, did he die? Uh, he... No, he was desmayado. Uh, he fainted. He... Fainted. Fainted, yes. Uh, he fainted. So, so I had to bajarlo, I had to take him. Bring him down. So we bring him down, okay? Uh -huh. Bring him down and I had to to pick up to the hospital. He was there around six months. Six months? With a, yes, yeah, six months. My goodness. I have a, Did he yes, I, okay. I have some, some experience. Yeah, bad experience. It does its kind of risk. Yes, bad experience. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Sorry, I was another tip by was a little than my history. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't, I, I like to try it because I mm -hmm. like that kind of uh, mm -hmm. extreme, extreme sports. I like yeah. it. And it's, yes, and it's a stupid uh, risk, but uh -huh. I don't know. The, the leap, the, the jumping cost yes. for yes. $300. Three you wanna, if you want to leap, dollars. they call it tattoo. <laughs> with another person, with the, with the instructor, if you want to uh -huh. make the jump in a tattoo mood, $300. Uh, $300 per... Per, per jump. Per, per, per jump. Per jump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, oh. it's and, and how much time jump. is the jump? How much time is it? It depends on the altitude that the, the airplanes uh, ascend. It's around, I don't know, maybe four minutes. Four? No. 300 yeah, for four minutes? Yeah. No. That's it. Without but, taking the course, but there is a but, course. 300, to, to uh, 300 each other, or oh, it's okay no, that no, if no, I no, say no. 300, 300 for, per person. It's okay that I say that, uh, Francisco. Yeah, 300 per person. Uh, per person, okay. Or 300 for a group of eight persons, for example. No. 300 per person. Per person, just one, 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 reach, one jump, and that's it. Oh. You, for example, if you have any experience, it's your first time, uh, you will jump in chacho mood with the instructor, <laughs> uh -huh. like pegados, yeah. and you will be just one jump, three hundred dollars. But if you wanna take the course because there is a course for parachute jumping, it costs around one, one thousand two hundred, one thousand three hundred. I'm not sure. My but, but I have a lot of friends. Yeah, but I have a lot of friends that uh, they made it. Wow. Yeah, the adrenaline goes up uh, to maximum. Yes. When you jump off the plane. Yes. Um, no, it's not that. It's not <laughs> for me. When I was 12, I was in a air accident in the United, United States. Uh, we went out of the runway, uh, landing in a small airplane. So, I don't know. Not for me. Okay. Uh, not for so... Me. 
that was enough. So, Julia, you are uh, risk adverse. It's okay. When I when I am traveling in the bus next to me, it next to me, it it was a a man, and I start to work him. Mm -hmm. And when when I, when we arrive at the terminal, mm -hmm. uh, he pro, he pro, proposed me. How do you say? Me yeah. propose. Propose me. He proposed me take the, the same taxi. Really? Yes, uh -oh. and I accept that. And uh, for uh, fortunately, the end was good, but. After that, I start to think what's happening if that man was a bad man. Right. Yes. And I think it was a, a risk. I take a risk in that moment. Okay. And so you didn't know the guy. You didn't know the man. No. No. I he didn't. offered you a ride in a taxi and you accepted. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were lucky. Yes, <laughs> I think that. <laughs> true, true. And when was this, uh, Veronica? Uh, please repeat, teacher. When was this? When? When I uh, when I was in my nineteen, because I live here in San Diego, and I used to visit my mom, because she lived in San Salvador. Okay. Yes. All right. Well experiences that uh, uh you know that people go through yes <laughs> things that people experience exactly okay i like it so do, do you take yeah. small risks or or high risks a medium a medium medium risks yeah Share because risks. the highest the highest risks are i i i told you before mm -hmm. uh, are very expensive. So, okay. for example, climb, climbing a mountain, or skydiving, scuba diving. So, oh, the, risk, uh, the risk is yeah. losing your life. Uh, yeah, exactly. But that case, uh, that case for, is... yeah, for that reason, you need to pay someone to learn before you, mm -hmm. to teach you uh, about the, the risk you are going to take. So, this is very expensive. So what are the risks of not taking risks? I mean, do I do you just risk uh, anything for 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 adventure? I mean, do you yeah, risk for, for, anything for 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 money or for family or for for everything? Yeah. How are you, Jose? Well, uh, like I was saying that if you want, if you don't take risk. But I, I want to do it, Peter. Mm, if I have the opportunity, I, I like to, to uh, how do you say, skate but yeah. on, the, on the snow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Peter, how do you say patinar? Patinar en hielo? Roller. No. You're muted. I'm sorry. Ice skate. Ice? Ice, ice skate. skate. Ice skate. Ah, okay. And then patinar just without without ice without skate. ice just normal. Skate. skate. Yeah. Skate. Okay. But okay. but a skate is with a, a patin, but with. Uh, patines. Patin, patin, patineta, <laughs> patineta, huh? you, you skate, skate, ah, yes, okay. you skate, and that's why you call it skateboard, patineta, mm -hmm. skateboard, yes. skateboard, exactly, right. right, okay, when you, when you do it on the snow, what is it, what is it? yeah, snowboarding, snowboarding, okay, Snowboarding, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. That is the correct uh, word. Yes. I don't like it uh, to travel in motorcycle, only... By bus? 
one star. <laughs> uh -huh. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, but but it's dangerous. Ride yeah. a motorcycle. Yes. It's is is a it's very risk use a use a motorcycle or travel by motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice feeling, but it's dangerous. Yes, it's very dangerous. Yeah, I mean you enjoy every single minute of it. You know, you get the fresh air, you receive the sun, but <laughs> one little distraction can cost you uh, uh, a lot of damage. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Irene? Uh -huh. Because if you if you are in a public place, uh -huh. then there are not lifeguards. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. So thank God that the, the man saw you. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the next one. What are the risks of using the internet? Ah, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Go ahead. The of, of using the internet is that your information can be stolen, I think, when you register. All right. Um, any questions or comments about risks? Unnecessary. What is it? Are necessary in your life. Yeah. They are necessary in your life. Yes. If you want to get to a higher position, a better position, it is necessary to take them in your life, right? And sometimes the risk is not worth it either. So you have to keep uh, things balanced. What would happen if things do not work well? So, true. Okay. You, okay. Have, yeah. you, you have a different kind of risk. Right. The violence, the yes. business, the loves. Exactly. Yeah. Financial risk, uh, sentimental, uh, safety. I mean, different types of risk. Completely agree with you. Yes. Okay. So let's do one listening exercise. Uh, when you're taking the exam, like I said, you have the listening section. Uh, you will hear different types of conversations and you will hear different types of questions. So you don't need to have uh, previous knowledge 
about that particular topic, but you need to have good uh, uh, listening skills. So let me look for it. All right, here we go. Pay attention. Exercise L22. Can you hear the audio? No. No teacher. Oh, teacher. Oh, Nothing. Okay. Give me a second. Exercise L22, identifying the speaker's purpose. Can you hear it? Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Very Second. Good. All right. Nice. Loud and clear, loud and clear. Excellent. Thank you. One. So, does competition promote success? Think about it. Does competition promote success? Well, uh, doesn't that depend on what you consider, uh, how you define success? So, if you define success as beating your rival, then yes. But if you define success as finding satisfaction in relationships, possibly, very possibly, competition is detrimental to success. Okay. Let me write the question he asked. Does com does competition promote success? Does competition promote success? How do you make that question in Spanish? Como la competencia promueve el éxito? Exactly. So the man says, it depends what success means to you. Are you talking about financial success, sentimental success, psychological? So one more time, pay attention. Exercise L22, identifying the speaker's purpose. One. So does competition promote success? Think about it. Does competition promote success? Well, doesn't that depend on what you consider, uh, how you define success? So if you define success as beating your rival, then yes. But if you define success as finding satisfaction in relationships, possibly, very possibly, competition is detrimental to success. Why does the professor say this? Think about it. Why does he say that expression? Think about it. You know, you may find uh, questions just like that in the exam. Think about it. When do you make that question? When you want someone to consider different options or different ideas or points of view. Exactly. Yes, another opinion. When do you tell someone, think about it? Analyze about this. Yes, when you are encouraging the person to analyze the situation. So let me bring you back to the, when exactly he says that. Listen carefully. Exercise L22, identifying the speaker's purpose. One. So, does competition promote success? Think about it. Think about it. So, uh, your answers are right. You know, when someone tells you, think about it, 
They're asking you to analyze and reflect on the particular situation. Now, let me ask you, does competition promote success? What do you think? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody else? Any, any questions or comments about this? I agree. I think yes, because you want to improve and you want to be better. Right, right. Yeah. Normal. Uh huh. Sorry. Normally, the competence uh, maybe is a, a a better way for for the success. Right, right. Yeah, uh, competition. You know, the, the the good competition, like when you're working in a sales department, definitely can promote success. So they said, okay, the first team to sell $5,000 today will get an extra day off. So everybody will be like, look, you know, trying to convince you, right? Okay, anything else about the listening activity? You say something uh, really important. It is a good competition. Sometimes we have a bad competition about different uh, for example when you want to have to have a better position in your company sometimes you have a bad competition about this. right so in this case i think competition not is a bell not is a, the, the best uh, way to to do I right think. right right yes I, I i had a friend that he was applying in a, in a very famous restaurant in San Salvador, uh, you know, they were looking for a manager. So when he went to the interview, they said, but you know what? Uh, you will be, uh, we will be testing you for one month, um, but it's not going to be only you. We will have three candidates doing exactly the same thing you will be doing. So while you are, like you were saying, like like William was saying, when you're trying to get your, uh, when you're trying to achieve your goals, and you know some people might do and will do whatever is necessary to obtain uh, their goals. So, and that's why the guy says, "What is competition?" You know, sentimental, financial. So, it depends. Any questions or comments? No, I guess not. All right. Okay, so let me show you an article. I know if this was the version that you guys read or if it was different. Do you remember this article? Amnesia, what is amnesia? Not remember. I forget when you lost your mind. <laughs> okay, maybe you were present when when the when your teacher presented this topic, but now you're suffering amnesia. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. What do you see in the picture? What's in the picture? Amnesia. They are getting married. Okay, they're getting married. Uh, do they look happy? No. How, how, really wet. How do they look? They look worried. 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 Worried or confused? Like what were they, they, they appear they don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Why I am here? Yeah. What am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. They say, I don't want to die. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, uh, there, there is a famous uh, expression when you want people to start writing, say, like, what was I thinking when, and then you go back to your previous life and, and start thinking about all the crazy things that you did, you know, like, what, what was, was I thinking? thinking when? What was I thinking? Yep. Okay. So, uh, okay. So I need a, a volunteer. To read the first paragraph until it says according to plans. Right there. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. 
Okay. Okay, yes, go ahead, Oscar. What if uh, the person you married forgot who you were? For, <clears throat> for one Texas couple, marriage became a blind date when the groom came down with amnesia days after their wedding. Mm -hmm. Amy and Sim or Sean. Sean. Sean, Amy and Sean. Magnulti's wedding, they started well, but ending with a shock. With a shock. Yes. One of the Sheen's good friends was in the in a serious car accident after the wedding and ended up in a coma. Nevertheless, Amy and Sean decided to make their honeymoon trip according to the plans. All right. According good. To plans. Good. Thank you. Okay. Any questions there? What is the meaning of uh, never the, nevertheless? N nevertheless. Can anybody, yeah. say, can anybody say nevertheless in Spanish? However. However. Yeah, uh, however. Okay. Yeah, however and nevertheless, they show um, opposite uh, point of view. Yeah, nevertheless. Okay. Okay, thank you. Any other questions, people? Okay, so I need the next volunteer to start reading and finish where it says the word mother. I'm at going the to the airport. Go okay, ahead, please. Okay, at the airport, Sean, Sean realized he had left his wallet in the car. The, the car. He said to Amy, "I'll be right back," but he didn't return. No. <laughs> Amy contacted the police, who found Sean wandering near a motel three days later. He was confused and covered in bug bites. He had no idea who he was or who Amy was. Sean could not remember any personal details from his life, not even his mother. All right, thank you. Any questions here? What is the meaning uh, in a bug bite? A uh, bug makes reference to insects. Bug bites. Is the same insect, ladybug? Like, like little animals, bugs. An insect, no. Yeah. Insects are small animals, small okay. animals. Okay, any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so I need another volunteer to read the last one. Amy was now. Amy was now married to a man who viewed her as stranger. I wondered, you know, is he going to remember me? How is our relationship going to, you know, form? Said Amy. This was a big change after a six years Courtship in plenty of shared memories. Excellent. Very good. Any questions there? What is the meaning of plenty? Plenty? Plenty means uh, sufficient. Sufficient. Okay. Sufficient. Yes. Okay. All right. Any other questions, people? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, I need another volunteer to read the first part and finish reading where it says my B. Yes, Vilma. Okay, I can't read this part because uh, your your <laughs> your face is high. Okay, hold on. Okay, can you see it now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. No. <laughs> Could you move a little a little bit? Uh move what? Or move the pictures, no say, to the other side because but I can you, see. Or the, you can move. You can minimize the, the image. Of the the image. Yeah. yeah. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. 
Eh, when. When Sean. When Sean got out of the hospital, Amy had to give him a tour of their of their home. Also, he had a room developed. Devoted. To, uh, devoted to music. He couldn't even remember what is meant to her music. Uh, Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist doctor Daniel Brown say Sam's or Shams amnesia. amnesia might have been caused by a, a series of a stressful moments like his friend's car accident, according to the Dr. Brown. Since brain didn't connect with his identity, identity, identity any, anymore, mm -hmm. identity anymore, he doesn't know who seems um, McNulty, as he the McNulty, McNulty is and has not personal memories or uh -huh, or autobiographical autobiographical uh, memories to account for two he might be he may oh, be all right good thank you any questions there on the part vilma just read No. No. Okay. I need another volunteer to read the next part, please. Me Dr. Teacher. Brown. Go ahead, please. Dr. Bla Dr. Brown explaining that amnesia was like forgetting the name of a file you stored on, on your computer. You know, it's there, but you can't find it, say Brown. His memory is like that. He still has the file. Okay. Fortunately, uh -huh, fortunately, better, better time some arrive. The day first anniversary, Sean's memory flooded back in an instant. He still remembered everything, including their, their wedding. I remember showing Kane her face, say Sean. It, it was great. Good. Any questions there? Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Can you please uh, uh, pronounce the word fortunately? Fortunately. 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 Yes. Okay. Any yeah. other questions or comments? Flew the bat. Uh, flew the bat. Is that to come back? Uh, what is it? Flew the bat. Is oh. like to come back? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Floated okay. back is another form of saying uh, came back. Right. Okay. All right, so let's read the last part. One last volunteer, here, uh, please. Sean. Hey, teacher. Go ahead. Hey, teacher. Go ahead. Seems bit, seems bit the experience as a chance to confirm he pick up the right bright. Mm -hmm. I got to see how, how much she loves me, says him. We have a much stronger and closer bond from the experience. I couldn't have found a better woman to spend my life with. Okay, thank you. Any questions or comments on the last part she just read? What about bond? What is it? Closer bond. Closer uh, bond. What is bond? Oh, bond. Like a union. Yeah. Bond okay, okay. in this case means union. Yes. Okay. What about pick, pick it, picked or picked? Picked. Pick it. Picked. Pick it. Picked. 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 Oh, what's the meaning of picked? To confirm he picked the right bride. Que él escogió a la novia correcta. 
Ah, okay. So in that case, picked means escoger. Uh -huh. No, that, okay. that's weird because um, uh, forget getting everything without a, I mean, a, a hit uh, is just a, without a experience. I mean, he, the, the, the drum didn't have an accident, just was a, right. a, a impression, I mean, an emotion. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I, I don't know. But in El Salvador, I, we have so many emotions. Right. We don't, we don't have the chance to lose our to lose No, our no. Those. Yeah, in El Salvador, we see, we hear uh, unbelievable cases, you know, like, really? Like, you know, amazing, amazing. Yep. All right, any questions or comments? Questions or comments about the reading? No. Okay, so we're going to stop right here. Thank you very much for making the space. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you all. Good, good night. night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.